Hi. Um, <laughs> it's kind of been a minute since we talked about this road trip, but essentially where we are is the middle of nowhere between Wyoming and Colorado. So this was probably one of the longer drives of our trip, and it was extremely long, very grueling, but beautiful, and I got car sick a couple of times. So that was essentially all the things, all the things. thumbs up for today. Oh, okay, so uh, we're here at Tick Rock Slab Climbing. Um, it's pretty easy uh, slab climbing. It's like a 5.5 or a 5.4, but um, we're gonna get Julia's feet wet. Julia, how do you feel about this being your first climb in which you are, uh, you are coming up as my second rather than just belaying me from the bottom and me coming down? Huh? What am I <laughs> Instead of me coming down and belaying you from the bottom, I'm gonna belay you from the top and you're gonna climb up to me. How you feeling? It's right of passage. Well, wait. I have, to, I have to figure out the mechanics of this. It's easy. So, and like I trust the rope, I get it, you're gonna get me. But when I get at the top. It's a top rope. I have to, I have to belay you from the top down. No. I'm belaying you from the top. No, but when I get to the top, yeah. you just let me down and then you... I'm gonna repel first and then you repel after me. I will have you. Did you just want to get my reaction on camera for that? Yeah. <gasps> Everybody stay tuned. Um, <laughs> we are going to... I want to check in at the top, but Julie's like, you can't take it on the wall. Pa. No, you don't. I am at the top. This is the scariest thing in the world, and Colby is literally at the edge, and he's literally starting to repel. He's doing all of this for a reaction, and it's working. Julia is at the top of this climb that we just did, and I'm getting her to repel down. But uh, I'm gonna, she's gonna repel down, and I'm gonna belay her repel. I don't know if you can see her up there. You know, see she's that little white dot, so. 
Look at her go. She looks like a fucking expert. Who is that? Julia Thompson or Lynn Hill? I can't tell the difference. There you go. Yeah, I agree with Andra. I could probably do this all day. Yeah, that's what most people say. That's a little bit theatrical. A couple of things actually happened in between me coming off of the wall and us seeing these bears. Um, I went to pick up Andra, Colby's roommate, and she was stuck and we didn't have any cell service and all this crazy stuff. And then we couldn't find Colby, so he put his pants on a tree and that's why he's pantsless in this clip. But we picked up Andra and it was really nice to meet her and for Colby to catch up with her. And then we headed to Rocky Mountain National Park to go on a little hike together before we ate some lunch. Brad mannered, mild mannered friend, and my extremely peppy friend. <laughs> Did you just call me Drab? <laughs> yeah. That's so mean. Thank you. We're in Rocky it's Mountain National Park. Mild mannered. Mm -hmm. Here's Londra. <laughs> You know that uh, that meme where it has like the black house and the pink house right next to each other, and oh. it's like how my music taste is. That's, That's like who us. you guys are. Those two Staying houses. next to each other. <laughs> also, I saw the real. You guys look so mountainy. <laughs> As you can see, we've been in Boulder all day. We've been thrifting. Today was my thrift day, and we've been doing some outdoor shops for Colby so we can get some stuff to climb and X, Y, and Z. But the trip is almost over, and that is super weird. Um, I'm loving Colorado. I haven't really spoken much in this video about Colorado, um, but it's pretty incredible. As soon as we got here, Colby was kind of, uh, he was just in like a different spirit. It was really nice to see him excited because he lives here this is where he um where he lives he goes to school at colorado so yeah right now we are like in between stops he is i don't know why he didn't take the shoes in he's getting some shoes resold um and that obviously there's like some great places here in colorado to do a lot of outdoor repairs and x y and z so we are currently stopped, but yeah, th I mean, it's been pretty incredible. We only have three days left and tomorrow we are getting up early in the morning, going climbing for, I believe the last time. I'm just gonna blow Colby and then I believe we're going to Denver. Um, we're also gonna go to Colorado Springs. I don't know if that's tomorrow or not. Um, we're going to Colorado Springs as well and we're gonna see um, the campus. We're gonna see his campus because he goes to Colorado College. And so that will be the end of our trip. Um, we get a hotel tomorrow. So I'll probably do a lot of catching up with you guys tomorrow. But I love Colorado. Last day in Estes Park. Colby. What do you have to say? Hi. Last day in Essex Park. We're gonna go climbing, and then we're going to Denver! <sighs> Was that Utah about to come here? 
I hope so. Utah. Oh. I hate it when <laughs> nature is crowded like this because it's then it's not nature. It's really bad. And I want you to keep this in the video. Bleep me out or something. Yep. I just give your rant. I understand that it's really good for national parks to be accessible nature for people, but it's gotten to a point where they're so crowded that it's it's like if I just don't I don't want to drive around and just like park and 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 sit there and watch the rams or whatever I want to like go and do something and like because the whatever I want to do just happens to be in the park and there's so many people around that are just crowding the space for the people who are actually trying to use the space I know I sound like spoiled brat and stuff because I am and it's like there's plenty of nature to go around I'm not trying to like nature. gatekeep nature yeah gatekeep nature or anything it's just a little irritating whenever it's like you know this many people because you know you come to nature to feel like you know away from people i come here because my phone doesn't work here and that's nice because i don't have to worry about people trying to reach me or whatever and then there's like a thousand people and it just defeats the whole purpose for me and i get that national parks are good because they're accessible for people and I think more people should get out in nature and stuff but I just don't like how I can't find a parking space really. This essentially marks where I stopped filming. We saw some more places. We went to dinner with some of my family, visited Colorado Springs, Boulder, and we even went to the top of a mountain which was really cool. We got to take the little train and then we got in a hotel, packed everything up, cleaned up the van and flew home. I couldn't be more grateful for the opportunity to travel with my absolute best friend in the entire world and I wouldn't trade it for anything.